Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to a new video and in this video we are going to talk about the 10 most important Flutter apps that you should make as a beginner, right? So we are going to talk about what are the advantages of building those apps and what are the things you are going to learn if you will make those apps as a beginner, right? So if you are new on this channel, you can like my videos and subscribe to my channel and now let's go to the main content that which are those apps you should make, right? So the first app that I'm going to talk about is a simple calculator that you should make a simple calculator if you are beginning learning Flutter, right? So what will be the advantage of, big, uh, of making a simple calculator in Flutter, right? So if you will make a calculator, you are going to know about different different uh, widgets like rows, columns, expanded, flexible, and wrap. So these are the widgets that are you you that you are going to use when you will be making the buttons for the calculator. And I'm not talking about that you should uh, use the APIs for using the mathematical functions. I'm talking about a simple calculator like plus, minus, multiply, and divide. Only these four features you have to provide. Only these four functions you have to provide. But your main focus should be on the widgets, learning the user interface, how you have to design an application using uh, Flutter. Be comfortable with Dart, right? So using this app, you have to, you will be introduced with different, different widgets, right? Uh, and rows and columns will be the most important thing that you will be learning in this application, right? So this is the application for getting introduced with the user interface, with the environment of the Flutter, right? Okay, so this was the first app. Now let's move on to a little complex and let's go on with the second app that is a simple to-do application. So this is the second app that you should make after a simple calculator. Now, after making a simple calculator, now you are familiar with the widgets, right? You know how to design a app screen, right? Now you should focus on integrating your app with the databases. Now, if we are talking about Flutter, Firebase database is the most easiest uh, database to integrate with the Flutter, right? So you should make a to-do application using a Firebase database only if you are a beginner and you can use any database if you are at intermediate level or at expert level, right? So managing your tasks, you will be learning CRUD operations that is create, uh, retrieve, then update and delete. So these are the four major functions uh, whenever you are working with the databases. So to-do application will open up your mind to integrate your app with the databases. You will learn about Firebase. What is Firebase database? What is Cloud Firestore? What is authentication? You have to authenticate. You can use email uh, email authentication, you can use phone authentication, Google, Facebook, I'm not, uh, okay, don't go to Google and Facebook if you're a beginner, just uh, ensure that you are authenticating the user using email or phone, right? So this is the second app that you should make as a beginner because using this app, you will uh, get to know about different functions like deleting a database, deleting a file from the database, right? And how you have to fetch that data from the database, right? Using Cloud Firestore. So this is the second app that you should make as a beginner if you are learning Flutter. Now moving on to the third application that you should make. Now we have to move on to the APIs, right? You have to call the APIs. You have to fetch data from the APIs. What are APIs? Application programming interfaces. So whenever you are making apps, APIs are like soul. You can't complete an app without using APIs because we don't have each and every data, something, some data is present at the internet and we have to fetch that data from the internet and we have to show that data on our app. Perfect, right? So for using that purpose, we have to use the APIs, right? So application programming interface. Now I'm not uh, telling you to make a direct a news application or get X or uh, using e-commerce application using APIs. I'm not talking about that use a Amazon API. No, you have to make a simple currency converter app. So as you know that currency exchange rates change uh, at each and every minute or they are a dynamic. So you have to make a currency converter app using APIs. There are several APIs for currency conversion and I will list some of them in the description. I will give the links also. So you have to make a simple currency converter app using an API. Perfect. Now you are clear, very much clear with what is an API. Now you have to don't stop over here using APIs. You have to make three, four more apps using APIs. So what are the three, four more apps? You have to make, let's move on to the fourth app only. So what is the fourth app that you should make as a beginner? I think according to me, the fourth app should be a weather application, a simple weather application, right? So you have to enter the city. You should know about the temperature. What is the humidity? Uh, if uh, there will be any uh, rainfall today, tomorrow like this. So there are many APIs present for the weather, weather uh, purpose and you can use those APIs to integrate in your app and you have to make a simple weather application. 
right so what are the applications that we have covered till now first one is the simple calculator second one is the to do application third one is the say a currency converter and fourth one is the weather application right so these are the four application that you should make as a beginner and using these uh, making these application will open up your mind to ui also to the back end also with the apis also right so whenever you are uh, whenever you will be hired as a flutter developer in a company you will be using apis a lot right so use of apis you should maximize so these are the fourth application and now let's move on to the fifth application and two more applications i will talk about apis only right so the next application you should make a wallpaper app yeah yes you should make a wallpaper app and you can also upload that wallpaper app on play store so you will also be uh, knowing how to upload an app how to export an apk how to export a app bundle what is in play what is play console how to make a developer account so these are the things you will get to know if you make a well wallpaper app and you can upload it because simple calculator and a weather app it's not uh, that much uh, uh helpful in uploading on the play store right but if you make a simple wallpaper app you can upload it on play store and you can also on from it you can also integrate ad mob you can apply ads on your app because don't make a simple wallpaper app you can make a wallpaper app according to your choice like ball, uh, black wallpaper apps right like gaming wallpaper apps right like nature wallpaper apps animal wallpapers baby wallpapers like this you can make your own wallpaper set and you can also upload it and you don't have to uh, just feed your app uh, with the wallpaper right just make a app just make a folder and feed all the images in it and you can show it on grid view no you don't have to do, do it you can use you can use pixels api you can use unsplash api because these apis provides you 10 million images right of different different sizes right so this is the advantage of using apis now we have covered five applications now it's time to go on right sixth application it will be little complex because this application should be your news application right in the news application you should uh, be uh, you should uh, show the updated news of different different sector like sport sector then entertainment sector then science and technology sector then business sector right so this is the sixth application that you should make as a beginner and uh, this application just converted me from beginner to an intermediate level right so this is the application that you should make and it will also open up your mind to some more good widgets like uh, you have to work on the grid view you have to work on list view that you have worked in the wallpaper but here it will be little different it will be little complex because you have to feed the dynamic data from the internet to your widgets right so this should be your sixth application and seventh application is not much not that much different but it has a very much unique part because seventh application is a movies uh application because in the movies application you will be using tmdb api the tmdb is the the movie database right the full form of tmdb is the movie database because using the tmdb api you can fetch the top rated shows the top rated movies trending movies trending shows like this and you have to use this api to book the seats of the movies right so i think this much this can be a little complex part for you and if you think that you can't do it you can just skip this part but you should make a movies app right so using that movies app you can show the description of the movie you can show how much rating the movie got and uh, when it got released or when it is going to get released if it is uh, coming up the next month like this so you can use this apis to make a wallpaper app to make a news application to make a movies application you make a weather application so so many application you can make using apis and i promise you if you make one application using apis to make another uh, app you don't have to just you don't have to even read the documentation you will be doing everything by your own and i promise you that uh, within this month i am going to release a complete series of the movies application right the tmdb api so these were the seven applications now let's move on to some unique application like an e-commerce store so eighth application is an e-commerce store you can just contact your nearby grocery store and tell him that i will make a grocery application and in this grocery application or an e-commerce application you have to make two applications first one will be for the uh, customer where he he or she will be seeing the products he can purchase the product he can uh, just put that product in the cart so these are the things that you have to integrate in your application and the second app is the admin panel where the uh, shopkeeper will be able to upload the new products it will be easier for him to upload the price the updated price or he can update that now this product is sold there is no nothing available in his or her store right so you can also earn from it you can integrate ad advertisement you can charge from the shopkeeper to make an admin panel to make a customer application right 
you can use the delivery option in it like home delivery or you can pick pick up a, a feature in it right so this is the eighth application that i am talking about and i have made this application in it right and i have not made the tutorial on my channel but i have made this application and if you will comment i will post the link of the github repository right right so major of uh, most of my apps are open source i will provide the link right so the next application the ninth application should be the clones right i have made instagram clone facebook clone netflix clone and spotify clone i am just working on it so clones just because if you will make a clone you will get the ui you have to just copy that ui you have to copy the animations in it so there are certain animations right the splash screen is there the logo very beautiful logo animations are there then hover effects are there you have to integrate everything in it and don't just uh, clone the ui you have to clone the back end also like uh, you have to make a social network like instagram where the user will be able to like someone else photos you, he will uh, then he or she will be having followers you can make your own social network right so you can do it and the social networking sites like uh, you can also clone youtube because youtube apis are there you can just make your own video player app right so you have to make the clones you can make facebook clone twitter clone linkedin clone like this so these are the clones and that comes at the ninth position now the 10th application should be your machine learning applications right you have to use the tf light library and a uh, application that i made was a mask detection app tutorial is there in my channel and that was a very simple application i am not talking about that application because this is the point where you will be uh, transferring yourself from a beginner to an intermediate you have to make a live object detection app the live it, the live camera will open up and it, uh, and it should be able to detect the object right so you should make the machine learning applications you can make uh, use of the ui kits the ar core you can use the ar core i have not yet worked on ar core because i am still a beginner and i am still at the ninth uh, level uh, like e-commerce app like this and the clones level but soon i am going to work on the ar core and for sure i will be upload the uh, upload the tutorial because most of my work are open source so i will work on that and i will post that thing but the 10th application should be a machine learning application or a ar core application right so this was my analysis it's totally up to you which application you want to make at which point of time it's totally up to you and okay so this was my analysis i think this much is enough for this video content and and if you like this video make sure you subscribe the channel and hit the like button and till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot